I've only had one LEP so far and I just got this um, L2 from Enlighted love the name by the way Enlighted ok let's check it out ok welcome back to UBC channel this is Jay well I had the bigger um, super cool SK1 from Loop Gear, but I'm quite um, happy and satisfied with my Soul uh, 14500 LEP now this is a really nice contender and no, they don't um, let go unfortunately. There's one more version that kind of intrigued me. That is the Con County Combs version of this Ant-Man in uh, Raw Titanium. Honestly, LEPs are too uh, <coughs> bright and uh, blinding for most, if not all the time. Even the low mode uh, when indoors. So I don't really have a need for it. The outdoors is where this thing shines literally even though they are not the most practical but they are sure um, fun as heck here's the box that um, it came in it's just a thin um, cardboard box there are several colors and materials I've got the basic black and um, custom um, titanium with the copper head if you've been following my channel you know that I have a, I have a thing for um, cuties everything is accessible nothing is uh, locked tight or glued making it, making it fun to um, lego I was sure that the black with copper head uh, would also look nice but I didn't realize or expect that the titanium with the black head uh, is really nice as well it's really thick It didn't come with the battery, so I use. Um, I got it from somewhere else. This version is kind of heavy, though. One because of the copper, but it's even uh, noticeably heavier than my all brass 14500 light, which I'm gonna um, review next, by the way. And two. This is a thick boy. You can already see from the front, but I don't mind the heft, especially for 14500 um, size light. This is still fine, unless it's a huge one like this W3S, which is using 21700 uh, battery. It's probably closer to a full brass or copper 18 650 light in terms of weight yeah might as well do a size comparison here's next to the one of the smallest 18 650 light and here's next to some shorter 14500 I believe they are using the same size battery and you saw the longer um, longer ones okay. this thing is kind of slippery with a smooth body or tube I could have sworn I saw or I thought I saw some fine lines on the tube it would have been uh, better for the grip luckily there's some nice knurlings on the head and this deep carry uh, two-way clip also help and there's some uh, very cool blue uh, glow in the dark ring in the front just like the one in the lemon tops
and just like the Ant-Man it can't take regular AA batteries but unlike the Ant-Man though this can only use a flat top lithium batteries it actually works with button top but you just can't tighten it all the way I use an um, o-ring to cover up the gap and actually kind of dig the, the little black accent it's using a forward click tail switch which means you can do a momentary on the problem is you can't do a hardware lockout and there is no option for um, software lockout but so far I haven't had any accident accidental um, activation there are only two modes high and low however the spacing is uh, way too close and it does have memory each time I turn it on I can't really tell which mode I'm in uh, this also applies to the admin by the way I normally dislike high to low but for an LEP I would like to always start from high and without memory or at least make the spacing a bit more obvious now I think I know why they did it this way the low is meant more to preserve uh, runtime, not so much about lowering the output. With battery this small, for an LEP anyways, it will get drained uh, in no time. So they provide an alternative output mode that is still bright enough but at a more practical runtime. Low is rated at uh, 100 lumens versus 80 in the lumen tops and the highs are both rated at uh, 300 lumens and rated at 122,600 candela or about 700 meter of throw now 300 lumens seems awfully little but lumens means nothing for these LEPs it's the candela that tells the whole story and when I did a <coughs> ceiling bounce test it definitely seems brighter than uh, 300 lumens And why did I pick the 14500 versions? Even though I like an even stronger or tighter beams, honestly, this is more than enough than uh, what my aging eyes can see. And 14500 is my preferred size anyways. It's a perfect balance between runtime and portability. Plus, this is more of a fun toy than a practical tool, um, at least for me. Okay, let's head out and compare these two. Okay, let's compare these two. Ant-Man on the left, L2 on the right. Start with a low. Low. Jump too high. Try a different angle. Again, start with low. I'll try to go there to um, record closely instead of uh, zooming. Hi. Both are a little bit warm. Okay, boy, can you help me? Okay, I use the admin to signal him. Come on. As you can see, reach all the way to the um, wall. And then try the high.
Ok, done. done. This is one good looking light. Which do you guys think look better? Personally, I can't decide. That's why I think I'm keeping both. But I think I won't get any more LAP. Just these uh, two 4500 beauties. They're practically the same light, just different design. And uh, except this one doesn't have uh, strobe, strobe warning. And design is highly objective. But if I have to pick one, I'll probably choose the simpler, cleaner looking L2. For the admin, as mentioned earlier, the county conversion also um, looks kind of neat. And there's some good news. Neil is planning for uh, the LED version of this light. Which means I can EDC this light a lot more. Let's just wait and see. I might just get the head or the whole thing. And I'll probably do another review or an update once I have it. Okay, that's it. As always, thanks for watching. And see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.